Well, let's get started this morning. We're going to make a yummy bread. That's right, yummy. It's faster, no need bread. And the time takes five minutes. The cook time is 40 minutes. And the total time is four hours and 25 minutes. But it's well worth it because it's really good. I'm going to read you the ingredients. It's three cups of all-purpose flour, one-fourth teaspoon of yeast, active, dry, or instant, one teaspoon of salt. I use Himalayan salt. And one and a half cups of hot boiling water and two tablespoons of extra flour for shaping. So let's get started with the instructions. Combine the flour, yeast, salt in a large bowl. Stir in the water until it's well combined. Cover the plastic wrap and let it set for room temperature for three hours. After three hours, the dough will become puffy and dot it with bubbles. Transfer it to a well flour surface and sprinkle the dough with a little flour. Not a, hot, not a lot of dough, but just a little bit of dough. Then you want to transfer it into a well floured surface with a little flour, scraping and holding the dough for 10 to 12 minutes. You want to, you want to shape the, the, the little flour ball and then you want to cover it for 10 to 12 minutes. Place in a parchment lined bowl and cover with a towel. And you'll see me do all the steps and everything will be in the description box below. Place it in a parchment paper with a lime bowl and cover it with a towel. Let it stand on the counter for about 35 minutes. So when you're letting it stand, you can go do some housework. That's the good thing about it all. And it says, um, meantime, place the Dutch oven with a lid in a cold oven. Make sure that oven is cold. And preheat for 450. Meantime, place the Dutch oven lid in a cold oven, and like I said, to 450. Um, each oven heats differently. So just kind of watch for when it comes to 450. When it reaches 450, carefully use an oven gloves or either the oven gloves or your um, oven mitts will be fine. Just be careful you don't get burnt. And then you want to lift the parchment paper and dough from the bowl and place it on a hot and uh, into a hot pot with the parchment paper still with it. Then you want to cover and bake for another 30 minutes with the parchment paper. Cover it. And then after 30 minutes, remove the parchment paper, return uncovered to the oven for 10 or 15 minutes. Let it cool a at least 15 minutes before slicing. So let's get started because this is a long process, but the bread is really good. So we're back up here. And I'm going to get the hot water. I've got it steaming. I got it steaming on the stove so it'll be nice and hot, just the way it should be. There we go. So here we go. Three cups of bread flour right here. Or I use all-purpose King Arthur flour and I find it works great. You want to put your yeast in, one-fourth teaspoon of yeast. And you want to put um, your salt, which is one teaspoon. And I use Himalayan salt. Get it all out here. It's been so humid. And then you want a cup and a half of hot water. So, ooh, the handle is really hot here. You want a cup and a half. So there we have it. 
But before I put the water in, I just like to give it a little stir, just like this. Okay. Oh, I hate doing it with a bowl. Okay, then we're gonna put the hot water in. Okay. Now we're gonna do it till it's well combined. It says about two tablespoons extra for shaping. So we're gonna keep the two extra out and we're just gonna combine all this ingredients. Then we're gonna cover it in plastic and let it stand three hours, just like this. Dough looks a little dry to me, but I'm sure it will shape into it everything just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna cover with plastic. Don't go okay, too far. Okay, folks, here we go. This is what it looks like right here. We got it, let me get it down here. Just like that. It says you wanna knead it 10 or 12 times. We'll see. I don't know. I've never made this before. Okay. Then we're going to place it on parchment paper lined with a bowl and cover it with a towel and let it sit for 35 minutes. Okay. I've kind of rounded here. Pat it hard. Okay, I got the parchment and the bowl I'm going to use. I'm going to stick it just like that. We're going to stick this just like that. I got a clean towel here. And that's going to stay like that for 35 minutes. And I'll okay, bring it Okay, folks, I've taken, the, I've taken the hot bowl out of the oven. Well, this is what I'm using because I don't have a fancy one. And um, we're going to take the dough that's in here and we're gonna transfer it into the, parch in the parchment paper and the dough, and this is wicked hot. I'm, st I'm still not real convinced if this is going to come out or not, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna transfer it in here. And then it says, We're going to cover and bake for 30 minutes. Okay, it's going in there with the parchment paper. I've got to be careful because this is wicked hot. Wowza. Okay, it's going back in the oven. So, I'll bring you back and we'll see Just what's going to happen. took it out of the oven right here. It's wicked hot. Ooza. And then it says remove it from the uncovered paper. Still not quite sure about this. Looks like a lot of flour, just not, I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if I can take it out with this. Yaza. Yaza. 
Booyah. Well, the bottom, the bottom seems to be, the bottom seems to be brown. So I'm going to put it back in the oven. It said put it back in for at least 50, at least, let me see here, for at least 15 hey, folks, minutes. The bread just came out. I did an extra 15 minutes. This is what it looks like right here. I forgot I had this lifter. And, wow, it's wicked hot. And that's what it looks underneath. So it is cooked. We'll just put a toothpick in to make sure. Or I should say a skew. There she goes, there's nothing coming out. So we're gonna go grocery shopping and when we come home, we'll cut it and we'll show you and we'll test it. I'll either test it or Mr. I will test it. There you go, it's, an, it's a heavy loaf. So we'll see okay, what it tastes like. Okay folks, I got tired of waiting for Ray. He was supposed to come in but didn't. So I'm gonna cut into it. I'm going to slice into it. It's still warm. Hear that? It's got a good crunch. Ow, it's hot. I didn't think it was still that hot. Oh, I can hardly stand it on my fingers. Owie. It's not a good thing to cut bread when it's hot. It's got some good texture in it right there. See the holes? Put some butter on it. I like the end pieces. And we'll see how it's gonna be. Got a good crunch. Actually, it's got a good flavor. It was very, very labor intense. I was wondering when I was making it, but I'd make it again. So I'll put everything in the description box below. And um, you never know what's going to be on my videos. Have a great day. Bye.